and we're going to take the stamp this stamp that's in the set and this is one of the rare occasions where you use block I you don't use this block very often it's kind of a long one and it doesn't get used very often but this is one time when you need to use block I so that's just something to keep in mind if you get this set you will need block I so then the next thing I miss having classes with you too Judy so much so much so we're going to take the starry sky and we're going to ink it up tap 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 and then I'm going to stamp off because I don't want it to be too, too bright. And then I'm going to put some ink there, stamp it off. I'm going to, and I'm going to rotate it a little bit because I don't want to line up. Oh, I think I, so I left a little bit too much space, but it will work. It's not, believe me, the ocean is not perfect. And that's what I'm creating. And I'll do one more like that, like that. And then my keep talking amongst yourselves I forgot my wife's it's a very good thing I live in a very small apartment because every once in a while I make a slip up okay so let me clean this okay set that to the side change out this ink for the Tahitian Tide ink that up the only reason I'm stamping off is I don't want it to be so 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 dark um, you don't have to in the sample I don't think that the lady that I copied it from stamped off but I, I like that look of it being stamped off so that's where the idea is coming from now there's a really cool stamp in this set that looks like the shadow of the sailboat it's this stamp right here. So I'm going to take it in the starry night and I'm going to put it right about there. So that'll look like it. You'll see it'll look just like a shadow. So that's that. Now that's the easy part. This little area is the easy part. What comes next, I needed a little creativity for. So there's three, punt, three stamp sets. Let me get this out of the way, I think. Yeah, there's three stamps that are part of the punch. If you can see them. So there's two sails and then the sailboat. But the punch is kind of awkward in its shape. Now, there's all kinds of ways you can stamp it and line it up and all that. But I, I'm, I'm just telling you right now, that's not my thing. So I'm not doing that. I'm just getting some white scrap paper that I have somewhere on my desk let's see where did my white scrap paper go there it is okay now I know for the sale let me get rid of that for the biggest sale which is this right here I know that that's going to fit nice right there without a lot of extra so I'm going to go ahead and stamp that up and the Sahara sand. And I'm just making sure that I'm matching it up to the direction of the punch, which I am. So that's going to go right there and punch out. So this is a card that I would definitely do in class, but I would have to do it with enough time because it does take a little bit of time to get all the stuff lined up and matched up and stuff. Now I'm going to take the second sail, ink that up, and that is going to go this way. See what I mean, you guys? You kind of have to know what direction you're going to be cutting the sails in. Now this one, I don't know of any other way. You're going to just have a lot of waste because see how it's going to cut out everything when you do this little sale? I can't, I couldn't figure out a way, unless I cut a very narrow strip, and I didn't do that. So that's okay. That gives me my two sails. And then one more punch to give me my sailboat. One more stamp, I mean, to give me my sailboat. It's a little bit harder to chat when I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> uh, and not get ink all over the place, and... Let's see, hopefully this will work. I might have to cut the paper down to get that to punch out. 
Let me see if I can. I should, should. Yeah, yeah. Not even close, people. Not even close. Let me do this. I might have it going the wrong way completely. Let me see. No, it'll work. Okay. So I have it in. Kind of. Kind of looks like it fits. And we call that good enough. Doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be good enough. Okay. So we're going to come back to here. Now I'm going to I'm going to do one more thing. I cut some strips uh, strips of paper and I just tore them in half. And I'm just doing this as part of the decoration. But I want to give the paper some texture. And so I am just literally crunching it up. Have you guys ever done that before? It's just another way. If you don't have a quick embossing folder, you can always just crunch it up. And that will give you all kinds of texture. There we go. Okay. So then I will... Take that, take my glue on one, my glue on the other. Now I have to put this down to know where I want this to go. So I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put that under it like that. I'm not even on the camera, sorry. I'm putting it there and I'm taking this one and I'm putting it here. And now I'm going to take this and give it a fair amount of glue because it's going on textured paper. So we wanted to, oops, 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 almost did it the upside down way. All right, so there's that. Give that a little bit of a, and then I'm going to take <clears throat> the sailboat and I'm going to take my silicone mat and use that to get a fair amount of glue on it. There we go. So I'm supposed to be talking about my trip, but I can't because it's so much to concentrate on. My trip was great. Seeing my family was amazing. My sister that I stayed with was just an angel and a blessing, and I love her, and I miss her so much. It's so hard to be so far away, but someday, someday we'll be together hanging out. And then um, the weather was incredible. We, we rented a camp, and at the camp, each of the bedrooms had air conditioning, which I wish they hadn't because I was, would have loved to get away from air conditioning for, you know, a little bit but my husband and my sister both were in heaven that there was air conditioning so um, they're happy so that's good um, there was no air conditioning at my sister's condo so when we went back I think Steve was dying the last night we slept there but he made it through he made it through he might be a winter visitor to me going forward we haven't been home in the summer in a really 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 long time so all right, so then now to put the sails on. This one will go this way. So make it touch and then like that. And then this one goes this way, like that. Now, when you guys weren't looking before class, I, oh, I don't want happy birthday. Did I bring over the thank yous? Well, these are supposed to be thank yous, and I have thank yous, but I just didn't bring the little tabs with me, so I'll make this one a happy birthday. But I have the same the same concept in a in a um, um, thank you, because I need to make thank you cards uh, for some people, uh, two gentlemen. Um, Mark is a, a good friend of ours that uh, went with us when we went to, um, where did we go? We went to St. August, no, St. No, not St. Um, I don't know where the Biltmore is. And Mark took us all around. He was an amazing tour guide. And I want to send him a thank you note. So that was why I, that was the whole purpose of doing this. Do I want to do that? I'll put it there like that. And then one more step is a bow. And I know I decided and decided about putting a bow on a guy card, but it's, it's kind of looks a little nautical. So I think it fits really well. So there's the bow. What do you think? Pretty good, huh? And then my final thing that I couldn't decide to decide on was embellishments. And remember I was telling you last week, you guys, about the plastic containers that I have? Oh, I will, I will reiterate how much I love them. They're from Amazon, and they work so good. So I was thinking of doing embellishments kind of like, like this. Just to give the card some um, depth and texture. And there is my card. 
but it's supposed to say thank you. <laughs> it says happy birthday, but I have a happy birthday guards, guys. I have birthday cards for guys coming up, so I need to do that too. Phew. All right. So, hey, Jen, thanks for joining. Thanks, Anna. I love the colors too. Hey, George, thanks for welcoming Christopher. I mean, thanks for welcoming me back. Um, did I acknowledge everybody? I think I did. Um, and that's the card. Whew. Like I said, that was a lot of work um, for Let's Set Sail. But I love the results. I love the results of the card. I think it just comes out really pretty, and I love the blues. Those, the blues are so bright and happy. That starry sky is just really beautiful. I'm not sure if it's coming across on camera as purple, but it's definitely a really happy, bright blue. It's perfect for, and I thought the sailboats were perfect since I was just in Maine. So that's where the idea came from. Actually, I have one, if I can get my hands on it, with the thank you. Yep. This is the one I made as my practice. So there's the thank you. So it's a little bit different bow. I thought it needed kind of a more meatier bow on that one. So that's where that bow came from. But you can see, you guys, exactly the same card, but I stand, stamped off differently so you get a different impression. I like this one a little bit better where I stamped off in the, um, I stamped off before I put the sailboat's um, reflection. Maybe it's not, I think it's a little bit softer and it comes out really good. So... Um, anyways, I love the card and I love the stamp set. So it was fun to play with. So that's, that's it. That is it. Um, I heard today it's five weeks until college football. So that means about four weeks till the pros start doing their, um, preseason games. So we're excited about that. And what else can I tell you? Thanks, Jennifer. I appreciate that. I'm happy with how they came out. I really am. And I, when I, now you guys, when I'm doing embossing, cause this is heat embossing with a Versamark pad and, and white um, pa, uh, embossing powder, I do a couple, I do like three or four and I just keep them in a little baggie. So now I have a couple of thank yous and a couple of happy birthdays to use, to throw on a card once I, once I'm ready for it. So, um, it just, it's nice to have them and not have to drag out the heat embossing tool and all that stuff, um, um, to make a card when I could just have them already made up. So that's what I, that's what I've been doing. I think that's it, ladies. It's Monday night. It's 8.20 already. I'm going to see, hopefully, a bunch of you guys on Saturday for Zoom. If you are interested in joining Zoom and you don't want to make a card, then just come and hang out. If you don't, if you're not on my mailing list, you won't get the link. So message me and I'll add you to the mailing list. Um, and then you'll have it. And like I said, it's 10 o'clock Saturday morning. It's a pretty short class. We're usually done within an hour. And I think that's it. Um, remember around here, we make it and we mail it. I miss you guys. I love you guys. And I will see you, some of you on Saturday and some of you next Monday night. Bye-bye.